Welcome to Electra Online. As we saw in the previous video, the universe is probably a whole lot bigger than we thought. And the size of the universe at the decoupling 380,000 years after the beginning of the Big Bang was also a lot bigger than we assumed. We know that it had to be at least 13.7 billion years in radius 13.7 billion years ago, because we know the universe was flooded with the CMB, the cosmic microwave background. And we know that that has been streaming throughout the universe in all directions, including towards the Earth. So we can imagine that at the very edge of the observable universe, 13.7 billion years ago, and of course, back then, that wasn't the observable universe, because at that point, the universe was that old, but today, the observable universe has a radius of 13.7 billion light years and radiation has been, has been streaming towards us from all directions for the last 13.7 billion years and finally has arrived at the Earth from all directions. The same intensity, the same number of photons reaching us every single second. We also know that back then the temperature was about 3000 Kelvin and the wavelength of that radiation was about a micrometer and we know that the universe has stretched has expanded because space has expanded about a thousand fold since because today the temperature is only 2.7 Kelvin which means that the wavelengths now are about a thousand times as large as they were back then which means the universe has stretched about a thousand fold which means that that portion of the universe which is visible today, the observable universe today, with a radius of 13.7 billion light years, has expanded a thousand fold in all directions or a billion times in volume. So now we know that the minimum size of the universe today must be at least a billion times the volume of the observable universe. And the observable universe today contains about 200 billion galaxies based upon the pictures we took with the Hubble Space Telescope. We realized that back then, when, you, when the universe first began to form galaxies, the number may have been as many as 2 trillion, but since then many galaxies have collided and combined into larger galaxies, so now we're down to probably about 200 billion galaxies in our observable universe. But since the total universe is at least a billion times the volume of our observable universe, we take 200 billion and multiply it times a billion and so now we have at least 200 million trillion galaxies in our universe 200 million trillion and we know that is at least the minimum size universe the universe could be much much bigger than that so we can only see a very tiny portion, a very tiny fraction of the total universe. And those 200 billion galaxies within that tiny portion, which is still enormous in size and enormous in the quantity of galaxies, each galaxy being enormous in size on its own, is just a small portion of what we now think the entire universe is. And then, is there an edge to the universe? Is the universe infinite or finite? And what does that entail? And how would you explain one over the other? Well, if you're interested, we'll attack those questions in the videos ahead. What do you write down on the zeros of 200 million trillion? 200 million trillion. Okay. So 200 million, 200,000, 200 million. And now a trillion is 12 more zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there you go. So many zeros? Total of 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 19, 20 zeros. 2 times 10 to the 20th. And we live in one of those. <laughs> 